Hello people and welcome to yet another video and uh, this time the video quality maybe isn't as good but this time we're going to show you how we're going to sort this hard drive out so let me just put this camera up here so we can have it trying to face me and in my hand we have the hard drive lead that I bought this morning for this machine basically it's a uh, SATA lead at one end and a uh, what they call a Molex at the other end. So we're going to take this computer, move that CD-ROM drive, um, take hold of the tower, flip it over. There's the mighty tower. It's quite a big tower actually. It's, it's an alright machine. It's uh, as I say, it's a Packard Bell. So we're going to pull the side off. And here's the absolute wonderful workings inside it. There we go. Look, we've got all the fan and the hard drive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to connect this lead up to the hard drive. If I can get the damn thing to fit in. So I'm just going to prop my camera where I can, where you can, be, where I can be seen as best I can. If it'll let me. Chances are it may do. I don't know. Um, Trying to get the best result for this. Put the camera there so we can. Oh, crumbs. Oh. That's it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the power leads, um, the hard drive, and that just fell over again. It wasn't meant to fall over like that. So, positioning a camera is very hard. Right, I'm connecting the two ends of this cable together. That's going to give us the ability to run the hard drive on this board. I'm then going to put the other end into the hard drive. That will allow us to basically get this thing to run. Because because this board is a fairly oldish board. There we go, there's the hard drive lead connected. So there we've got the adapter there. You can see that we've got the phone the wrong way around. No I haven't. Yes I have. No I haven't. There it is. Now here's the adapter, it's basically a lead, it's got a piece connecting to it, that's going down to there for the hard disk. Now, we know with this machine that the DVD-ROM drive has seen better days. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to flip this tower apart, we're going to flip this tower over the other way. Uh, now it's got the front of the tower, we're going to turn it on its back, so now you can see the top of the front of the tower there and we're going to pull this piece up now you can see the internals of the actual tower itself you've got the dvd drive at the top there you've got all this ancillary rubbish here you've got your switch there's your power switch the lights all the bits that's needed to make this function now what we're going to do is these bits here there's holes for those that can't see there's holes in the front of the tower. They're called bays. And we're going to use those bays to house drives. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the back of the tower. I'm going to turn the tower the other way. And we're going to heave ho the back off. We want the back side off. So I'm going to find my handy dandy uh, screwdriver. I'm going to heave ho the back of this thing off because we don't need it on. So we get to get the screwdriver on well, the end of that's wrong and it's not no it isn't it's right but it's not right let me just put that there for a second so you can see what we're doing I'm trying to get a look in on the angle of this i've got to put the i'm, I'm unscrewing the... there we go that's one bit off and there's the other bit off now that will enable me to pull this side, I think, away. So there's the other side off. Now I'm going to turn this around so that we've got these front pieces here. And we're going to take the DVD drive out. So I'm going to make this part two. Maybe. Haven't decided yet how we're going to do it. 
So there's the uh, the side of the box. As you can see, I've got to uh, line these holes up. go I'm kind of holding this on an angle because I've got to take this whole drive right out um, that's the second one out got to flip the tower around the other way and do the same the other side then we can slide that DVD drive away see ah we don't even need to it just pulls out it's only screwed in at one side why did I have to take both sides out well we don't so I just unplug the two cables going to it. That's the power lead. There's the, the needed bit there. It'll come out. There it will now. It flipping won't. So I'll put, pull it out like that. That's it. I've got it. I've got it free. There is the old DVD ROM drive clear of its chassis so I'm going to put that out the way we need the other one and all we need to really do is to get this other drive I'm going to slide it back in real quick so you can see you're actually facing me at this moment in time there's a reason for this because I can't actually get this thing to, to line up so I've got to slide that back in I've got to try and line up the screw holes that's the hardest bit of in installing a DVD ROM drive in a computer. Is lining up the damn screw holes. I think it needs to be about there. Memory serves me right, which I've got. I've got that. I'm going to put the first drive in. I've got two drives to put in this. So for quickness, we're just going to take the electric screwdriver and anchor it. There we go, that's the first screw in. Put the second screw in the other side. And uh, do the same again. Quite easy to do. Uh, it doesn't take much above a few minutes to put a DVD drive in. The next video will be um, installing the top drive. It's much the same as this, but I've actually got another drive I'm giving Jack for this. So. Uh, I'm going to disassemble that out of the other tower in a moment. It won't go back in for some reason. So we're going to paddy whack this in with a normal screwdriver. Just because I've got one here, so I just make it a bit easier on myself. Because basically what's happened is the thing has basically uh, come apart. So, uh, all we basically have to do is just get this other machine. Now you're going to get to see this in person. Because, there we go. Now, here's the other box. Here's the other, um, the other piece of hardware. This is the other DVD drive that we're going to fit in this. Um, I'm going to paddy whack this apart right quick. I'm using the same screws to put this back in. I'm only using two, though. So there we go, let's them out, paddy whack this side off, there we go, same procedure, pull it out of the caddy, blow all the dust off it because it's full of dust, slide it into the tower at the top, actually no we have to bust out the front on this one, there's the front that I just took off, uh, we just push that in, slide that to there, Put the screws in and tighten it down and then we just connect the cables up we should be good to go so one should be master one should be slave doesn't matter which way around as long as you get them right doesn't matter which is which um you just have to make sure you've got them and they line up and everything's good which that does line up so just tighten that down hand tighten it to start with to get the screw started that's it and we just find another screw here and tighten this side down. Why I called it paddy whacking, I've no idea, but it was fun. Um, 